Okay. Grand. That's James. And Ken, just yep. hold this up now as we're hearing yep. the crackling. Okay. And describe what we would have to do to pick up the signals or the... Um, okay. The light. Yep. All right. Uh, what we would do is we would have to first hook up a battery to drive the motor to rotate the coherer. Tesla used a wound up clock. We modernized it a little bit by using a, a battery driven motor. Also uh, in the back here we have a small relay. And this relay is used as an interrupter. And uh, we put in a little square wave signal in here just to turn the relay on and off to act as a, uh, as a spark gap would in a Tesla coil circuit. And uh, of course, we would need a meter and a battery and antenna and ground system. We hook all that up and whenever there's a lightning stroke, the uh, tremendous ground currents produced by the lightning would trigger this thing and reduce the resistance in the coherer and uh, thereby allowing more voltage from this little 9 volt battery to go through and trigger the Tesla coil and it would go back and the voltage would build up to about 100 volts or so to drop this coherer resistance down about 50 ohms. And at that point, the little battery that plugs out of here would give you a click in the headphones or uh, if you had a meter, the needle would jump. So that's basically all that's going on here. It's a, a way of taking an incoming signal and uh, using it to trigger something that's very sensitive and ready to let go with a huge amount of current to be able to drive a telegraph relay or a meter or earphones. Okay. And in particular, why Colorado Springs? Why did he come here? Well, he had, uh, you might be able to answer this one, but basically he had uh, friends here and property was made available here. Well, that's a historical background to yeah. it. Uh, it has to do with the Telluride and uh, Colorado Springs was one of the first places to use alternating currents at the turn of the century. I take it it had something to do with uh, Telluride, it had something to do with the mining industry, but uh, uh, came here, he came here because he could get, could get electrical power. And, and plus the uh, surroundings are amenable to, uh, you know, it's, it, the air is relatively dry, so he could, uh, mm -hmm. the weather shouldn't have affected him too much. Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks very much again. Here's a mailing address for you.